All right, welcome back, Bronco lovers. It's Jeff in Omaha, Nebraska, Bangs Bronco Corral, and I'm gonna give you a video three update on the uh, 1989 Bronco two. If you followed my first two, you know, we I did you kind of a walkthrough of the first one, uh, the, on the first video, and then the second one, we did some steering mods with a blue top steering uh, box and a uh, Borgeson steering shaft. Um, this one looks a little different. You can see if you're following closely, I got some 33s on there, and I, even though I have the same Eon Alloy, Ion Alloy 174 wheels style, they are different. These are 17 inch, 33 inch tires. Um, guy was selling them, he got a brand new Jeep. And I got five wheels and tires with like 1,600 miles on them for 550 bucks. I could not help myself. I went ahead and bought them. I had 31, uh, 31s on it before, and these 33s just look better. They feel better. That's I think it's this, the right size. I did have to buy the 17-inch rims, um, but again, those ion alloys, I just think they're really cool. Um, they're kind of simulated beadlock. I like the black. And uh, if you see those little blue um, lockout engagers, there's a guy on uh, the Bronco Facebook page it actually makes those and he sells them for like 12 bucks. They were a pretty good deal. So I got the blue ones as opposed to the faded out red ones. Some other changes that have been made to the Bronco, um, significant, I guess. So I was having some overheating issues and I had initially installed a 1400 uh, CFM fan, electric fan. I'm not a big clutch fan guy. I think they rob power. And honestly, I think 10 to 12 horsepower is gained probably by removing that clutch fan off these uh, 2.9s. They're kind of dogs to start with. So if you can get, you know, another 10 or 12 horsepower, it's, 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 it's a nice thing. But I got a $70, 1400 CFM fan from uh, Advanced Auto and the thing was overheating. I'm like, what the heck do I have a crack head gasket? You know, what's going on here? And Talk to uh, uh, Brian Racy, um, who has Gilligan, and he gave me some good advice. He said, you know what, that 1400 is just not enough. So I found a Flexalite fan that is 3000 CFM. It's a 16 inch fan. It's really slick. I mean, it just bolts right into that radiator, a couple wire, uh, you know, I, I actually hardwired this. I'm not a big uh, fan control guy. I just wanted to come on when the ignition switch is on, so I just kind of hardwired it in that way. And you can see that white wire going there. but. This 300 CFM fan was a game changer. I've got no shroud. Um, the thermostat gauge does not even get to a quarter, yet the heat blows super hot air if you want it to blow hot air. You can also see that radiator is not stock. I changed that out too. It's a Explorer um, full aluminum two row racing uh, radiator. It was, it was an Amazon thing. It was 160 bucks on Amazon. I looked before I made my video and they're out of them right now but um, you can get different kinds, but it's definitely a two row, full aluminum, 160 bucks. The fan is the Flexalite uh, 238 model Polar fan. It's a 16 inch fan. Um, took me, I don't know, probably 45 minutes to install. I had to pull my old one off and screw this one in. You know, it's just, you know, a couple bolts there. There's a couple bolts at the bottom. I made a couple of little brackets. So um, those are interesting and nice. Um, also added this cool little thing inside and I posted it on one of the Bronco forums, but I'll show you what that looks like. It's an inclometer, inclinometer, yeah, something like that. We're getting a little mirrored reflection on this thing, but um, this is, and I, I embedded it into the dash. Um, that was, this thing is just kind of a blank. A lot of them have the electronic four by four button here. Mine doesn't, cause I've got it on the floor here, but so I used a hole saw, cut that out, and then this incline ometer. It's made by Auto OL. It's an Auto OL X95. They call it a slope meter, but it's also got a satellite speedometer. You can see that on there. It says I'm going zero miles per hour. It says I'm 1,164 feet elevation, and then it'll give you the slope. Uh, gives you the clock. There's another setting, but this one's cool here. How cool is that? So if you're on a trail, it'll tell you, you know, what your uh, pitch and what your roll angle are. And then you can set alarm buttons to tell you if you're getting, you know, dangerously close to rolling over or something. But um, what, Brad Kumler, he's one of the uh, guys on some of the Bronco 2 forums. And he suggested this thing. And I'm like, yeah, that thing's cool. I love the satellite speedometer. 
because when you put bigger tires on, you're always questioning yourself, hey, you know, what? how fast am I really going? And surprisingly, with these 33s and my 411 gears, my speedometer is only about a mile or two um, off. So, but it's good to know, you know, if a speedometer on the truck says 55 and this thing says 56, you know, you're not going to get pulled over. Um, I guess that's kind of it. You know, this is just a quick update on some of the mods that I've made. Um, I will show you uh, the next project. And I had talked about this in my previous video, but that's it. Um, doesn't look like much, but it really is. So this is a 1990. You can see below, it's got the full James Duff suspension. Um, it's got a Dana 35 in the front and it's got a Ford 88 in the rear. But the real kicker to this thing, and the reason I bought it, is this. So it's got a 5.8 V8, and the reason it's all helter-skelter and cattywampus is I'm pulling the body off, right? I've got one more wiring harness to go, and this body's gonna come off. I bought this from a guy in uh, Kansas, really good guy, um, did a great job fixing this thing up, and he just decided he wanted a chopped Bronco I'm just not into the whole chop thing, uh, but I was definitely into the guts of this thing and what he had done to it. So we, uh, uh, you know, I bought it for 3,500 bucks and I'm pulling the, the body off. I do have another body, I actually have three other bodies that I'm gonna choose from um, and I'm gonna bolt that on there. But this is gonna be really cool. Uh, these are the 37 inch tires that are on it, they fit. Um, so it's gonna have 37s, uh, a V8, and I'm not sure which body's going on. I have uh, a couple blue and white ones like the one you just saw in the first video. And I've got a really nice tan one from California that I bought. So not sure what, to, what I'm gonna do there, but this project's getting closer and closer to fruition. Um, I guess the bottom line is I gotta get it all hooked back, uh, back together once I, once I get it on there. But that's, that is uh, the next project and that, I will be making a video on that once that's done. So I guess that's it. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to Bangs Bronco Corral, and I'll keep you updated in the future. Thanks a lot.